Welcome to the Broadview Public Library September Book Banter. We are bantering about the book Unmissing by Mika Kent. I am Tisha. I'm Andrea. I'm Yvonne. And we are three librarians bantering about books. So, let's get into it. So, this book was again Miss Yvonne's pick. So, Miss Yvonne, you can give us a brief summary of Unmissing. Okay. Well, it's about a wife. That goes missing nine years ago, presumed dead, and then she all of a sudden turns up out of the blue at her husband's new house with his new wife and, you know, wants her life back, basically, because she, you know, just didn't know what had happened all those years, you know, you know, who this woman was in his house or where he was. <laughs> So the story starts out with the new wife at the house. Well, no, they start off with telling you what happened at first. Uh, apparently, she meets this man, the, the wife that went missing, and they, I guess, fall in love. It was kind of real quick. They run off to Vegas, elope, get married. They move to this small little town. Uh, they both are broke, so they're working like at restaurants, trying to make their way, make plans for their future. So one day, her husband goes out. He's supposed to be running errands, going to pick up dinner. So she's waiting at home for him. So she likes to go hiking. So she decides to, while she's waiting, she's going to go in the woods and go hiking. So that's what she does. She leaves him a note to say, I'll be right back. I'm going to do some hiking. See you later. So while she's walking around in the woods, um, she's walking and looking and she's reminiscing. And in her mind, she's telling a story about something that happened in the woods years ago. A woman had came up missing in the woods and they found her dead. While she was walking in the woods, when she knows this, I do not know but she felt comfortable. She said she knew the woods like the back of her hands and she felt really safe. She had her GPS and her water bottle and she felt she was okay. So while she's walking and just looking at the woods, somebody comes up behind her, a guy, and he whispers in her ear and tells her to be quiet, don't say nothing, puts his hand over his mouth, her mouth, and whatever he put over her mouth, it's, um, something knocks her out. So she wakes up a little bit later. She's in a cabin, tied to a chair, and this man, you, they don't tell you who he is for some reason, just has her there. And the story kind of like like drops off there. Then it goes to the new wife in the new house. And she's at home. You know, her husband's off. You know, he made a success of himself by now. So they're like wealthy. They live in this big mansion overlooking the water. And they have a child. She's pregnant with one on the way. And he's off because I guess they've had some troubles with their businesses and he was trying to sell the business so he was on a business trip she's at home alone with the kids and somebody knocks on the door so she goes to the door and it's this woman who is you know look like she's been dragged through the mud or whatever and she asking to see her husband and she's like what <laughs> so i guess she slams the door basically in the woman's face and tells her you know his wife is dead and and that's it so the lady just leaves she never tells anybody what happened or anything like that. All right. Who wants to continue from there? Um, so I think that's a good summary. Like, yeah, I yeah. think that's a good summary. So um, disclaimer, I should have mentioned this in the beginning. There will be spoilers in this book banter. So if you haven't read the book or you um, want to read it yet, there's spoilers in here because we're going to be bantering about everything. We shouldn't talk. So, no, we're going to tell everything. We shouldn't <laughs> because this story, I mean... It is one of those stories, like, you think you know really what's going on and what's happening and who this person is. At the very, you don't find out to the very end what exactly happened. And you'd be like, what? You're like jaw dropping, I can tell you that. We're going to tell We're going to pick it all apart. <laughs> we're going to tell you. So, um, like, like Miss Yvonne, <clears throat> jumping in time, like Miss Yvonne said, at the beginning, this lady is going hiking. Um, in the woods, she knows like the back of her hand, but she ain't hear nobody come up behind her. No sound. Mind you, in the woods, branches, twigs, leaves. She's all enthralled in what she's looking at, I guess. I don't know what she's looking at, but she didn't hear anybody. She ain't feel nothing. She didn't hear nothing in these woods that she know like the back of her hand. Where it was previously mentioned, not too long ago, somebody else disappeared or got murdered or was found murdered 
in these woods like she knows like the back of her hand. So she thought it would be a good idea to go to basically a crime scene and go for a hike. <laughs> She thought she was safe. She had her GPS tracker. She figured if anybody or any, if she got lost or something happened, they would find out where she was and come get her. That was her thinking. Well, I'm yeah. just saying. I wouldn't have went there though, knowing somebody got killed. That exactly. Moved, so so that was my first thing. Like, why would you go into a woods, the same woods, mm-hmm. like, you know, go to the woods in Brookfield <laughs> if you know somebody got killed in the woods <laughs> in Forest Park? Like, don't go to those woods, at least not yet. <laughs> So that was kind of a, a red flag. Like, okay, you didn't went to these woods and you didn't hear anything. So if this man, she called him the monster. That's right. all we know is that he's the monster. Um, <clears throat> comes up behind you and he's so, but didn't make a sound. So you ain't hear nobody coming up. She didn't, she didn't have no headphones in. I don't know if she had headphones in or what the well, case no, was. I didn't say that. I just said she was, you know, <laughs> I guess she I stopped to look around. She was, she was music, walking. I can't and, imagine why she would not hear somebody right. um, but listen, come up behind her. Her phone was in her her book bag. Well, she, she had a I mean, maybe Bluetooth she had headset. or something. Who knows? Right. Cause, I, I mean, because didn't say I mean, anything about that. Right. So it's, didn't it's, mention it. I don't know why she wouldn't hear anybody if she's just in the woods. So I'm, I'm you know, we'll give her the benefit of doubt that she has some headphones. And <laughs> right. Because that's what I'm saying. Like, if you in the woods and you, the woods are <laughs> crunchy, you know, grass, twigs, trees, you got to hear. So you got to feel something or see or hear something. Mm-hmm. You know, like people I always, like, like you know, in the woods, like people, you know. <laughs> A deer, a rabbit, a squirrel, right, a bird, right. anything. <coughs> so, yeah, we'll, we'll give her the benefit of doubt on this I one. Guess. I guess. It didn't I work out well for her, but... It didn't, but, you know, but, yeah. Give her we'll give it she's to she's her. She's not that dense, I guess. She, I mean, well, she couldn't hear anything. She's just oblivious, I think. We'll, I don't know. We'll say she I had a headphones. I don't know. I don't know. Well, well yeah. Well, that's not cool, but, you know. So, yeah, so she she gets kidnapped, and she's missing for nine years. And the story picks up um, these nine years later, right. where she reemerges um, in this town. What's the name of the town? Bent Creek Bent or something, Creek, something yeah. like that. And it's supposed to be like this. It was like a mobile town, like a startup town. It was like a resort like a town, actually. Resort town. Yeah. A lot of tourists used to come through, and so there are a lot of restaurants <clears throat> and stuff. And shops. And, and shops, like right. That. And I guess it's really late at night, like Miss Yvonne said, and she apparently tracks down her husband. And she goes to his new house, knocks on the door, looking crazy, and his wife answers the door, and... The wife was, so we think, is completely like, who are you? You know, it's late. I have kids here. Closes the door in her face. And she goes away. So at this point, we're like, the ex-wife or the, you know, the presumed dead wife and the new wife have met. And the new wife apparently doesn't know who she is or knows that she should be dead. Is that... Yeah, right. but we but well, she also, assumed she right, was dead. also yeah. she how she got away, she was there all those years, but she escaped. She he let her out. The monster let her out. And then <laughs> she escaped. She escaped. And uh he um as a matter of fact he shot her. When he escaped when she escaped, she shot he shot her, but he didn't kill her and she just kinda played dead and he assumed she was dead, so he left. And then um this is when she gathers her stuff up and um <laughs> I forgot how what happened where she because she got shot. Remember she got shot. Remember? Well, he that's how she escaped because right, she escaped. he was after nine years. Why like, he kept her that long? Who knows? Right. Um, he takes her out in the woods one day and decides he's going to kill her. Right. So he shoots her in the back and presumes she's dead and leaves her there. Right. Right. But she actually didn't die. She actually somehow survived it. Was able to get herself together, hitchhike her way back up to the town. Right, but and track she, him down. Was she, so she was shot. I not see. I can't remember. She was <coughs> shot, but how did she get fixed? So she was shot. I guess the bullet went straight through. Yeah, okay. the bullet so, went straight right. through. She just was it bleeding. Was like so somehow she patched it up, stopped the bleeding, and she, and she like she said hitchhiked. She hitchhiked her way, her way back to this town. Back right. to this okay, town. <laughs> so 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 like at this point. We're missing things. Like, we're like, okay, she hitchhiked. Why didn't she go to the police? Like, no, why she didn't doesn't. she go to She goes hospital. to look for him first. But, but that's what I'm saying. So, so at this point, as a reader, we're reading this thing. It's like, okay, we don't know this at this point yet. Right. We just mm-hmm. know that this strange woman, this we presume is her, has showed up at this um, house looking for her husband. And we don't know anything about the husband at this point. We right. don't know anything about him. We just know, oh... 
you know, I'm a woman, I was kidnapped, I want my husband, the first person I'm going to go to is my husband. Instead of the police, I'm going to go to my husband. And her rationale was, I'm going to go find my husband before I go to the police so that he knows I'm alive or whatever she said. That, um, <clears throat> so, you know, the wife shuts the door, she tries to find a job because she doesn't have any money, blah, blah, blah. She finds a job at this, uh, or she, I, don't, I don't even know if it's a job. It's really she a finds job. a lady to take her in right. um, and give her a place to stay and cleans her up. In some kind of crystal shop, I yeah, she was. was yeah, she read. She read palms, and she right, kind of new age. Stuff uh, she does all she the, did crystals. She believed in all this, you know. Right, right. Ooh, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the fortune telling type type of mm-hmm. shop she had, and she couldn't hire her. She said because she <clears> didn't, didn't have, have any ID or anything. Right. She couldn't prove who she, she was. She couldn't pay under the table. So she told her, you know, you can do some odd jobs for me at my house. You can stay there, you know, right. until you get yourself together, and I help you, you know. Get you back together, right? But she doesn't know the truth. She doesn't no. know at this point. She doesn't know really what happened to her, except that right. she don't have any. She idea thinks she's on drugs, like she's a drug addict, right? So she has her like take drug have, test. Have to take a drug test mm-hmm. just right. to make right. sure mm-hmm. that you're not on nothing. Ain't nothing right. wrong with you. So yeah. right in this. Go ahead, sorry. No, the, her she, <coughs> she takes her in, and she because her daughter had died, and she was around the same age as her. She felt like this was someone she could take care of. So she embraced her, even though she was leery of her at first, she grew to love her because it reminded her of her daughter that died. So she took her in and um, kind of nursed her back to health until yeah. she was in. Yeah, gave her some clean clothes and stuff like clean that. clean clothes. Right, she yeah. slept in her daughter's Made a, room. Made a love <laughs> five sacks of laundry down, what is it, how many ever sacks she of laundry? Said, but she kind of like treated like a slave, although she was helping her yeah. live there. But some of the things she had to do, I'm yeah. like, yeah. I'm like, Somebody, you, you can't call me, me an Uber? Bags, <laughs> bags, bags, five bags blocks away? To the, to can the I get an Uber or you got a wagon or a cart or something <laughs> I can put the sacks in? Like, like that's down. a bit much to ask. But that's what I'm saying. You got to carry... Well, she didn't say nothing about no detergent, so... So you <laughs> so got to like, carry that too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she really has some She has some sacks. Just a sack. But I'm like, how are you carrying the detergent? The dryer sheets? The fabric softener? I don't know. Maybe she has some pods. No. She would have her do all these little things. That she never gave her, like, she had to go to the grocery store, the same thing. She didn't right. get a car for her. She ain't like, offer right. She no. was just like, oh, the grocery store a block it's down, away. It's like right. it's locked down. down. You won't miss it. Even though she got a blue roof. She's got a blue roof. You won't miss it. All right. So okay. while she at the grocery store one time, she runs into Mary. She runs into the wife, who almost apparently runs her over because she's driving crazy. Um, she runs into her in the store. Um, she kind of, you know, has a word with her and the wife is acting all like standoffish and, you know, whatnot. And then again, while she doing laundry, I guess the wife drives by and she get into the car and exchange words with the wife. The wife tries to befriend her, I guess. So she takes her out for like a day of pampering buying her stuff no, eventually. No, before that, no, she saw her on the way to the laundromat. Right, that's what I said. And she, she got in the her car. Up. Right. Yeah, she, she got in the car, up. put her sacks in the car, and they yeah, talked. and they was talking and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. And, and you know, the, the inner mm-hmm. monologue of the wife was like the whole innocent, like, <clears throat> she didn't know what was going on. She just knew that this lady was back from the dead, you know, supposedly, mm-hmm. and she's none the wiser about what really happened right. until she gets the notion to tell her about her husband later on. But at this point... They're playing like this. I don't know if it's a game or what they're doing instead of just, you know, the, and I guess the husband hadn't come back yet at that point. No, because remember she told, she asked her where was her husband and she said he, out of he town. was out of town on business. He won't be back. And she didn't want to tell him this over the phone. She wanted to wait that he came back home. Right, because of the business he was doing. <clears throat> so, you know, they running into each other and... You know, I don't know what they're doing, to be honest. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know, like cat and mouse almost. Right, yeah. But she like, eventually... And, and we wondering why <laughs> the wife, or say, okay, you, his wife, back from the dead, what happened to you? She ain't asked not one time, no, what happened to you? I guess she was in Um <clears throat> You know, what happened to you? Why you didn't go to the police? Maybe she asked that, but what happened to you? Why you didn't go to the police? Are you okay? Do you have any other... Fa- you know, she ain't asked no questions like that. Like, if somebody... Came to my door knocking and say, oh, I'm your husband's wife. Um, I was kidnapped nine years ago, you know, presumed well, you dead. You know, oblivious. I mean, if you're supposed to be oblivious to the fact. I'm I mean, not going to shut the door is... in your face. I'm going to be like, you what? Let me call the police. Do police know? Like, let me call now. I think she didn't recognize but no, her. I don't, she, I don't think she did recognize she her first. Because she her looked first. a horrid mess. Her hair yeah, was stringy. So she, she had on dirty clothes. She looked a mess. And... Her thing was, I guess, if she was supposed to be, you know, 
anyway, she played this role really well. She, she did, did not pose the no that the wife, you know. Cause, and in second place, she thought she was dead, remember? She because was she, was dead. It, she was declared dead. So, right, so she that's how they got married, because the woman was declared dead. dead. Right. Well, right. But, I mean, we don't, yeah. we don't know what we don't know at this point. But right. later on, we know. So, she knew. Right. So, she was like, okay, so as you why mean, are you alive? Saying, that's why. Because you assumed that she supposed to have been dead. So, you wouldn't think. You're thinking some crazy woman that's right. Right. maybe mm-hmm. looking to get some money or something. Yeah. From but us. but, like, that, but never still. once did she say, prove who you say you are. So if you, such and such, she never <clears> once <throat> asked the woman, okay, let's go to the police, let's do this so you can prove who you say you are. I mean, well, maybe she want her life to see Well, me, we know why she didn't do that, but I'm just saying, yeah, like, time, if that was the. Yeah, but uh, yeah, and her, her thing might have been, look, this is my too. husband. I'm waiting to talk to back him. And, yeah. You coming back trying to get get in the picture? This is my husband now. And right. tell me what we do. I mean, we but, have a life here. I mean, right. We have a great life. Right. And that's what. And that's and that was the whole yeah, point of the story. Right. So yeah. she, she like, didn't want her to go to police. She wanted right. her to go away. Yeah, right. just go away. You disrupting everything that we didn't build. But she didn't even ask like, and, "What do you want?" Like, I don't remember her asking. Her, I don't care what you want. Just go away. <laughs> but she didn't go away. So instead of her going away, she <laughs> had her shopping, buying her expensive clothes. Well, that was because she thought it would make it easier for her if they, you know, be friends. And helped her out. Right. Try to help get her back on her feet because she lost nine years of her life. So yeah, that was to the, no fault of her own. The, 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 That's the, what the premise. She was. I mean, why she explained it to her husband this way? Because he was telling her, first of all, don't you know, don't go near her, don't talk right, to her, right. or whatever. So yeah, that they was the whole thing. She wanted to try and yeah, right. And then I think at the. Did they offer her some money before, you know? No. Before, so the first her. time she came to the house, remember she made a date. She told her, okay, come up to the house. He'll be back home by right. the Right, so she didn't tell her husband. <laughs> right. So he, he walks was, in. They see her. having tea and a sandwich or whatever. And he like, and he, like he ain't got nothing to say. He ain't got nothing to say. He, I mean, he ain't say nothing. He like dumbfounded, looking crazy. Like, she talking and he just, okay. Ain't said a word. <laughs> and the whole time... Now that we know what we know, at the whole time in, she, I think the wife, the current wife, did that to mock him. It's like, I thought you, you told do? me that you she took care of this, and look who we have here sitting at our table, Hot. eating a sandwich, <laughs> drinking tea in our house. So I think she did that. Like, she was real twisted. Like, well, yeah, she was crazy. You told she me. Was crazy. But she was, I think, trying to get her, you know, to leave, just leave, because remember she took. She said, "I'm gonna take you shopping." She took a shopping, took her to the spa and whatever. Right, she yeah. thought had her nails done, bought all the expensive right. clothes yeah. and perfumes, set and, her up, and, and all this stuff, up. and trying mm-hmm. to set her up so she could, you know, I don't know, feel good and just walk away, woman. Or it's like they happening. thought maybe they could bribe Be mine her right. now and just go away. Right. Right. <laughs> like, what do you want? Do you want money? Do you want right. us to, you know, right. buy you a house? Because he at one point talking about yeah. we'll buy you a house or the par- or something like that. Right. I think, yeah, and so you know, you get you set up, we'll set right, whatever. right, so yeah. she can just start her life, like start your life over somewhere else away from us. Right. We'll but you know compensate you. She didn't you. want to do that. <laughs> I don't even know what you want. Like, was this a whole revenge? Like, I was unclear in the, in the beginning. Like I said, like, what do you want? Nobody even asked. Her. Like, was she doing this for revenge? Like, she did she it because she wanted, she wanted him back. Right. Well, she, well obviously, she didn't, I don't think she didn't want him back. But I, I think she wanted him to know. Like, I, I'm here. I'm, I'm not back. scared of you. Yeah, I'm not or... scared of you. I'm back. So, because she started exploiting him, and at one point, right. That was so close to I think they were trying to yeah. give her stuff to kind of. So she shut wouldn't go up. to the police. Right, so shut her up. Give her what she wants now because, you know, she... Well, I mean, she couldn't prove any of that. That's what she, I'm saying. Like, they... I, I, that's what I didn't get. I was like, okay, she's back. But <clears throat> did she have something on them that would prove, like, concrete? Well, instead of it's just my word against no, your she word? Had, she like, had his... Uh, all she had was the his carbon name that branded he carved on her. And I guess he could have well, said, well, she did that herself. We are spoiling this, but... <laughs> but I know it is. It's a spoiler. And, yes, sir. And, so spoilers, we're going we to spoilers yes, for those yes. who are listening, and we're going so into spoilers. He, even he more spoilers. <laughs> Eventually, we find right. out that he is the one who kidnaps the wife right. and holds her hostage for all these years. And why? Doing crazy I, but it, it's so crazy because he was doing, he supposedly loved her way she thought he did. But he was doing these crazy things. He was raping her and, you know, he beating was a, her. He was, sociopath he was just doing these, you know, crazy things, starving her, doing, you know, anything that's to torture her for these. Tired nine years. I don't know why. 
I, mean, I, I think I think I think why like you said I think he actually did love her. So that's why that she was trying to keep him alive. That? That's nine years is a long time to torture long. somebody. But you know he had that when when she met him, the wife met him. She knew he had this disorder. We wanted to do things, so that's why she recruited this girl and figured you can whatever you want to do, do to her because you had these urges. So if you just do this to her, it won't be no other dead people or anybody around. So he, <laughs> you know just. Take you know, take your whatever this crazy stuff that you have in you, do it to her. So, that's so go ahead, sorry, sorry. No, so he that's what they did. that's what he did. He go out to if he felt crazy or crazy urge to do something, he'd go out and do it to her because he was done some stuff before, wasn't he? he no, he was, actually, remember when know. she met him, the first wife, she was saying how quiet he was and he, mm-hmm. was, he was not shy. like any other guy that yeah, she ever met the, before. The first, the first wife, was kinda, the second wife recruited him. Right. She knew what he was and yeah, he was crazy. She, the, the first wife wasn't, she was saying he liked not the guy she was, I guess she's like rowdy guys or whatever. Right, right. These and guys who, quiet. you know, that was, hey baby, come. And he wasn't like that. Right. He was very laid back and shy. But I still don't know really what he did. Like, her. did he demonstrate some he, kind of behavior? Like, did he, he kill did. an animal or a cat? I think he did. The second wife knew what he was. No, I think she saw that he could be controlled because of the way he was he was or she just targeted them because they didn't have nobody like they didn't have no family and they were just the two of well, them well a girl like, didn't no there was something wrong with him and the oh, second wife that. knew that and that's why she had him set him up with her because he had these crazy ur- he would do well, stuff well actually no she wanted this, well her pretense was she wanted a man that she can control right that she can control her mom and dad was married but her mom did not control her dad her dad was I guess he did the controlling and she didn't like the way their marriage ran. So she was determined to have a marriage that did not turn out like that. So she got a man that she could she tell what control, to do. Right. She can control like, it. Like, he going to do what I say him to do, when I want him to do it, how I want him to do it, I'm going to be happy. <laughs> right. But there was something and I wrong with him. She thought that there was something wrong with him. And that's why she had him getting this other girl. Because she knew that he would, if he went, you know, did whatever he wanted to do or whatever crazy thing. He, I think it was a sociopath or something. She I don't told remember that. I, don't, I didn't get that from the I story. I got it. It was in that. there. I got I, it. I didn't she, get that. She, when, she was tra- when she was talking about him, she said that she knew something was wrong with him. That's why she had him get with her. Because he want, she wanted him to do whatever it was that he, he well, would he take it out on her and not the wife. The second wife. There was something wrong. I didn't with that. even get that part. Though. I didn't get that I didn't either. Know. I mean, it could have been in that, but I didn't. No, I, I didn't, didn't get that. that. No, I just, I, I felt that. No, I him. felt that about the wife. There's something wrong with her. Well, there, there was something wrong with both of them, but there was something. And really that's wrong. why she, he was easily manipulated because he didn't have no money, and he did this on the promise of, you know, money and a better life. It's like, okay, I just met this girl. Um, you know, we getting married. And I met this other lady who's, you know, giving me this. And yeah, but see, he was marrying her just because of the what money. set it up. Right, right, right. Yeah, because they took life. out that insurance policy. Right, right. so and he didn't. get the money. I don't right, know if right, he right. loved her. But whatever, he did. But. He, that's why he said, he said he actually loved her. He actually liked her. <laughs> well, then he shouldn't have A lot better than the other lady because he felt, like you said, he felt that they were in love. And that's why she was like, you know, why would you do this to me? And she come to find out that the wife had it set up already. And he was just a pawn. He was also a pawn. And because he was being he controlled by the be wife, too. Because we thought that he really was the... You that, though, when he used to be talking or whatever? You never got that he was... He ain't say nothing. He ain't say no, nothing. No, I'm saying afterward. Like, after he found out that... You remember when he told her? He said, don't, don't you deal with her. Let me deal with her. Don't go near her. Don't talk to her. And she was like, would you think she hurt us? Hurt her? I don't know. He said, I'll deal with her. You didn't get the thing that he was the person that was being pushed to do something. You know, right, what I'm that's saying? what I say. Right, and it, it was like it was he like, was the one who did it. Right, but I don't want you to be nowhere near her because she mm-hmm. might hurt you now, or he, <clears throat> or she might tell. I think that he was scared of the wife, and that the uh, that the ex wife was gonna tell the current wife stuff that she didn't know, or maybe he was lying to her. Like obviously, he lied to her to told her that she killed him. She killed her, and she wasn't dead. Well, he, yeah. So well, I think that shit. maybe <laughs> that maybe she was afraid. He was afraid <laughs> that the ex-wife or the dead wife was going to tell the new wife stuff that he had already lied about. You know what I mean? Like yeah, but how he didn't tell the wife that she was um, extorting him for a thousand dollars a day or have much money. It well, was. no, she didn't. So he when didn't she tell was her using that, credit no. cards, she was like, "Your <laughs> car's been declined. Your car's been declined." So I think he was lying. 
to this woman all those years, and maybe he was afraid that the dead wife was going to spill some secrets um, to the new wife, and maybe that's why he was like, let me deal with her, let me, you know, Man, don't go near her. I mean, I don't know, I'm just thinking of yeah. a way maybe... Because I know why he didn't tell her about the the money. Right. Because I guess he figured that's she his was way gonna, of dealing with it, I guess. Right. So, because she, she didn't want her to go to the police, so he figured he gave her what she wanted, that she would just go away quietly, like, okay, I'll give you the money you want, I'll buy your car, I'll get your house, whatever it is, you can just go away so I can just live my life with this woman. But that's what I'm thinking, like, <laughs> if she was out for revenge, it's like, what's your end game? Like, she was playing a long game instead of just she going up. a long game. I just went to the police and just let her deal. What she was talking about, she didn't want to do that. Right, but she couldn't She wanted it. to, no, other than having that, but, well, I don't know, other than having the, you know, scars on her, when she found but the, again, she couldn't the policy, she could have went then and to the police. When she found the, you know, the thing that he had sure taken out policy. $2 million mm -hmm. policy on her back when they didn't have a dime. Because <laughs> they didn't have nobody when they first got married. They were both working at, you know, a restaurant. She was a waitress and I don't know what else. He was doing something else at the restaurant. Boy, something, I don't know. They didn't yeah. have any money. So for him to be able to take out, okay. to take out a $2 million policy was spectacular right, right. right there. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to read this. Okay. He told me stories of trapping small neighborhood animals, usually raccoons or possums, throwing them in garbage cans and dousing them in lighter fluid before okay. tossing and imagine okay. watching them burn. He also told me he stole a friend's pet rat once, experimented on it for a week before he finally died. Mm -hmm. I'd give anything to scrub those worried details from my brain, but I'm pretty sure they're permanently embossed in my gray memory. I don't care how successful or happily married a man is, that man is now. There is no getting around his sickness. It's rooted in his core, a living, breathing wickedness that resides deep in his marrow. There is no fixing him, no saving him, and there is certainly no redeeming him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Well, it didn't I'm stick in that. my mind. Yeah, it didn't um. stick in my mind. Okay. <laughs> That part. Because cause I remember her saying that he would talk, like she would try to get him talking and he would just talk and tell her things and that was, you know, he would talk, but I didn't, okay. But yeah, he presented like he was just, you know, both of them did. Both of them presented like, you the know, wife the wife is like, oh, <laughs> instead of instead of the victim actually being the victim, the wife was like, oh, I'm pregnant and, you know, uh -huh. you know. And this well, is she made it sound this was all just normal. Right, like she made it sound that <laughs> like she was completely innocent of what had happened to this right, woman. Yeah. Like you just popped up, and she didn't even ask. Um, like you said, she didn't ask what happened to her, or oh my God, are you okay? What you know, she didn't show no sympathy for her whatsoever. This whole that that whole time, she shut the door in her face. Didn't say, oh, do you need me to call the police? Let yeah, me call somebody. She didn't know who she was then, because she no, was totally she unrecognizable. Was. Well, it's like this was. This crazy lady coming to my house. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're talking about. But you get the door slammed in your face, and that's what she did. But once so, they did, once she did, yeah. stated did nobody asked when the when she said, "Oh, why don't you come to my house?" When my husband coming back, she not one time she ain't said, "Oh, what happened?" She ain't showed not one ounce of sympathy for this lady. She ain't asked, "Oh my God, what happened to you?" If you really are Lydia, what you know, what happened to you? You know what happened, like. She what didn't did you tell her? She asked, no, she didn't even ask. She didn't show no sympathy. Did she didn't say, her. did you go to the police? I don't, I don't know if she, she was out in the woods. I think she told her she, she, she might have told her she was kidnapped, but I don't know if she, <laughs> <laughs> at that point, said, so why didn't you just go to the police if you were kidnapped? Right, she said, we'll go to the police <clears> with <throat> you. Like, do you have, a, you know, she didn't, she didn't show not one ounce of sympathy. So she was buying her stuff, but she did not, I mean, I didn't get what she asked her not one time, what happened to you? Um, and oh my God, Luca would probably, you know, fall out when you, you know, whatever. But because she knew this whole time what was supposed to happen, but we as the reader didn't know that. So maybe back of mind, she was like, mm, I know he did not. Right. <laughs> I think she he might have him. told her um, what happened because she because I think she almost dragged, to, you know, told her what happened to her, what was going on with her every day. Um, but she never told her it was Luca that did it. She just said. Or acknowledged that she right. knew she just that said, it was this, this, She just you know. said, that's what I'm saying, I believe she did tell her about what had happened when they was, you know, had these talks they used to have. Right, yeah, because she yeah. wanted But then to, they got, you know, talking about each other's mothers. Right, and, right, she was trying to... Yeah, they was kind of bonding. Yeah, that's what she was trying to bond with her and, you know... <laughs> yeah, because apparently her mother was this drug addict woman who mm -hmm. stuck around with 
anybody. She didn't know who her daddy was, and yeah, she had a she kind of a very bad childhood. And, and I think that's why the wife targeted her because like I said, she, she knew was she didn't have any she had no family, family or right, friends right, or yeah. right. So if she did if go she missing, come, who would care? Nobody, right? And they nobody did after for a few weeks. They forgot, and mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. husband had a declared waited for a while, had a declared dead. Right. They both was playing the long game. They mm-hmm. really were. <laughs> This was a very complicated like, story. Like, you know, don't, you know, they was dating, but they didn't date or see each other for however how many years, and he did his thing, she did her thing, and he declared her dead, and so I'm like, they played the long game mm-hmm. for that little bit of money, and for whatever life she decided she wanted to have, she waited for it. So I guess, like you said, I mean, but I don't know, I don't know what her plan was, so when the wife, the, ex, the dead wife did come back, and the new wife, like, what was her plan? Was her plan to do what exactly? Like, I never I got she that. she just wanted her to go away. You know, because what else could she do? They can't they kill, her kill her again. again. Kill her again. Yeah, they could have done that again. But, uh, I was, but I think she just But that's what I'm saying. They could have because leave. apparently nobody else knew she was alive at that point. So why didn't they? they didn't, and at this point, the wife doesn't know that she knows who did it. I mean, she just assumed. You know what I mean? She don't know that she know that it was him. So she assumed that she just go away, you know, just buy her off some kind of way, and she just go away. Yeah, I think I you think, know you came back, go away. Right, you know, why did you come back? Away, yeah, he, he was messing up her thing with her controlling him, and they got you know they're mm-hmm. doing all this, so right. she kind of put a came back and kind of messed up because they thought she was gone. Right. But my thing with that was why did she, how did she know that he didn't he wouldn't answer the door and just kill her again? Right, that's what I said. I don't she know. Did. I never understood that. Why Nobody knew your lies. I mean, right. Or, you know, whoever you was hitchhiking with, like, you know, I've been kidnapped. My husband did this to me. Somebody please take me to the next police department or something. That's Sheriff what department. I would have did. Contact, you know. I would have been like, oh, come on in. You, you, come on in, Lydia. And then she said it was pitch dark outside. She had got yeah, there. Well, didn't I, nobody. I then she didn't recognize her, so she didn't. Then Lydia would have been she in a freezer like, right. in that right. big yeah. house of mine or in the, in the pool or somewhere. <laughs> Like, oh, come on in. You say you're Lydia back from the dead? You don't no. no, I don't. Second your house? I don't care who you are. But, I'm, but, but my don't point, I'm just saying, here. though, the <laughs> wife from the beginning, she played yeah. dumb. She played like she didn't know what yeah, was going on. Yeah, but I still on. don't think she knew when she first knocked on that door. I think it just came to her a little later. Right, when she saw after her again. After she, she saw her No, I think she was scared. I think, then, that I think she was shocked, obviously, and scared. No, I think in the back of her mind, she's like, no, nah, it can't be right. Um, right, you know because I mean? the husband he told her he right. was there, and so she didn't yeah. look. You know, she thought, maybe and she, she didn't know exactly what she looked like. Remember, because she was saying she had to look at that picture that they had when they posted for her, a missing photo, grainy, and right. she had to kind of. <laughs> you know, she, like that. Right, right. Because she was all messed up. Because she was a mess when they found right. you know, she finally came back. I would have took no chances. I would have snatched Lydia in the house. Nah, I wouldn't have no crazy one. Yeah, because she would have she put it on the But no, no, she you said know, her kids was in the house. Dough, yeah, it's pushing And locked it like she did. She locked the door, checked the windows, oh, make sure the alarm was on. Let no crazy people in the house claiming to be somebody. <laughs> because right? that's what she was saying. She was saying there was a cult that lived nearby, some some kind of cult. People would wonder from the cult. But no, she's right. I mean, that was a convenient way to set it up that why she didn't let her in because there was a cult that lived nearby. Yeah, but I think co-op truly, she something. just didn't know co-op, at that co-op. point. I think that just yeah, came she later, was later on. Because, yeah. Right, that she said you know, she was supposed to be dead. Right, she's like, she, I know she was dead because he pulled the kill. Right. Right. <laughs> he told me. He told me. He right. told me that's at the door, but she can't do right. right. He told yeah. me that she was dead. And if she had never came back to the door, she probably would have kept thinking that. But when she kept coming back around, that's what I think it just Then started she started clicking. looking at her. Once she got cleaned up, I, then she started oh like, God. okay, yeah, I think oh, that's her. Okay. And then when the husband, <laughs> she's like, come on over. Yeah. And he didn't say not a word. And then remember when they was in the store, she kept telling her things that he used to like. Like, he don't like cinnamon toothpaste. Right, he don't like He don't like, like kind of nuts. Still he like his or, right. nuts in the freezer so they can stay cold and something. Was, right. And she was getting upset. Like, I dare her talk to tell me what my husband likes. <laughs> <laughs> And now, but we come to find out the wife is the true psychopath. <laughs> right, right, right. The wife. Yeah, so. I, and, but she said she didn't think he wanted to kill her because he could have killed her, but I think he had some love for her, so he shot her not to kill her. Right. But well, just, he even says that at the end. Right, yeah. that he didn't yeah. want to kill her. Yeah. He finally was through it. I don't know after nine <laughs> years what made him just decide. I I'm think like, that was because the wife said. Take care of this because it's oh, been going why are you on going, go, you going for there too long. Fulfilling your fantasies like, or whatever. Remember, she said, "I don't know why you drew up this song for so long." Mm-hmm. All these years, you just kill her. You, you know? kill her. You keep going out to this cabin. I mean, what the hell is that for? 
Right. Just so get it over with now. He was supposed to kill he's her. He's supposed and he to kill her so it can finally be done with the right. whole situation. Right. And he didn't want to kill but her. But he so just shot her, enough shot her to... somewhere where he believed they wouldn't kill her, would wound her enough, whatever right. might would think. Yeah. But she yeah. didn't think. But he could have just said it. He could have just said, "I'm not gonna kill you. Don't ever come back." Dude, well, that just sound crazy, though. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, but would you think that if you shot somebody and you didn't die, the person that you held hostage for nine years would come looking for you? No, maybe he thought she would be so scared she would not. Even but that's my point exactly. About she would just run. You know, if she did survive. She would just run. But like, that's my point exactly. She was so glad to get like, away from him. But right. that's my point. Why even shoot her? Because he didn't bring back no evidence that she was shot. It was only his word. So do you see what I'm saying? Like, why even shoot her to begin with when he's not going to... He didn't bring back a body. He didn't bring back any kind of... Did he bring back some blood or something? But that blood could have been from anywhere. But he, he just told the wife, the new wife, oh, yeah, she did. I took care of it. And she took his word. So I'm saying, why even go through the process of shooting? Or why not just say, I'm going to let you go. Don't ever come back. You know what I mean? Why even do that in the first place? Well, why even pretend to shoot her and then just walk away? Say, knowing well, she not I don't want to kill you, but if you die, that's right. the thing, yeah, too. Yeah, or yeah. say this, if you <laughs> ever come around you me. That, that's on you. But that's I right, but I didn't try to do it. But she shot it through I feel the shot. better doing but it But why way. not just say, I'm, you know, I'm going to let you go. Don't ever come around or I will kill no, you. No, that the two You know what I mean? I think the shooter really stuck a bullet to it like, hey. If I shoot you, you know I mean business. So right, I'm exactly. not around here no so more. If you just let but after right. a while, <laughs> he had to shoot her to let know. Look, I'm yeah. telling you right now. I really shoot killed you, you, but I didn't. But, if I but next man, time I'm gonna kill you. That's what I'm saying. Right. I think that was his way of, you know, just scaring her. But she know. But she but knew after her, all this stuff, time, she like she said, home. right? She knew after all after nine years of him coming back and forth talking and do. She yeah, but knew. she was tor- he was torturing. He wouldn't come back there to. Chip, no, I know, but I'm saying. Come back there. I mean, but I'm saying. Up, cut her, shoot her. Wait, he not her teeth. Her. He was doing the all kinds of stuff. He wanted to torture those her. animals. Yeah. But I mean, she knew a, she knew him as a familiar face. I'm not saying what he did right that he wasn't torturing her, but she knew him as the man that she married. Right. So obviously she was scared, but in some aspects she was still familiar with this person. Mm-hmm. Familiar enough. Like, okay, this is the man I married. This is another side of this man I married. I'm scared. He's torturing me. He's raping me. He's abusing me. He's cutting me. Whatever. He, But his face was still familiar. So after a while, she wasn't scared of him as a person like that. Like, yeah, he tortured me. He's raping me. But this is still the man I married. This is still my husband. After all that, that should have yeah, been like, like, I don't know what happened to my husband, but this crazy gone, man this is crazy here. Crazy man. I this mean, crazy he man tortured her long, but then they was happy together. together right. They was together like right. a month or so yeah, before they were together that long. Happened. So she didn't know him, really. Yeah. So, so she married him. She married, well, well how, how many people exactly get married? Right, yeah. they, they meet somebody yeah. a month later, they get married. That's yeah. the one, and then the person is crazy. Right. <laughs> That's why he got Watch lifetime. A long time before you marry. <laughs> so I don't know, like you said. first birthday, see? This they story. <laughs> right. I mean, some people, they said the Vegas shotgun wedding. But this story was, it was a lot of, it was, it was a lot of twists and turns. And like you said, sometimes, uh, what did they say? Fact, truth is stranger than fiction sometimes. Even though this was a fiction story. Mm-hmm. But like you said, you see on these shows, these true Cold mm-hmm. cases right. and yeah, dateline cool, shows. You, know. you see scenarios like this yeah. in real life. And right, I didn't know it like this. Right. <laughs> yeah, dateline in twenty twenty. Right. Yeah. He swept her off her feet. Right. And she was just a fairy tale, and like and a fairy tale. And he, you know, he, he, romance. He's, he's, he's the crazy come dead. out all of a sudden. Right. Yeah. I mean, he's cut up. She cut up dead somewhere, and we couldn't believe he was such a good guy. Right. Right. So I mean, you know, truth truth is strange than fiction, and you hear stuff like this, but. And then to come to find out, like you said, it was two of them. They were both in on it. Um, so we're spoiling everything. But the wife was the true mastermind, apparently, um, which Lydia finds out at the end when she go to the cabin. Uh, I want to call him Luca. Text her the coordinates to the cabin. For what reason? I don't know. I'm not sure what was going on with that. And again, he was lying to the wife. Um, the whole time because she didn't know that Luca texted the coordinates to Lydia to come out there to the cabin. She show up to the cabin. Yeah, 
but you know what? So, and the crazy thing about it was his idea to go to the cabin in the first place. Well, because he texted her the coordinates to the cabin. That's what I'm saying. But what was that for? I'm saying it was his idea for him and the wife and the kids to go out to the cabin. Right. Because she had just given birth, had a C-section, mind you. Right. With the second baby and just got out of the hospital. He like, oh, let's go up to the cabin. She's like, for what? You know, okay. it's a newborn baby. baby. I just had the baby. Why do you want to go up to the, the baby. cabin all the way in the middle of nowhere? It's cold outside. You know, why are we going up here? And we ain't got and he no was money. Saying, oh, we should get away from you know the second, the first wife. Right. Maybe she, you know, we need a break because everything going on. Not we just going. you know get out of town for a few days. You know, we'll feel a lot better. That's what's so, what's so weird. So it's then the he motors, texts her the coordinates, coordinates for what reason. I have no idea what that was for. So that's what said. Some what of the stuff is good. Do? The <laughs> motors, like she didn't explain. Like the author pieced it, but she didn't explain the motives behind certain actions. Sometimes right. that's so, why I don't understand. That was a really yeah, strange thing. What, what, I can't remember what. So it was like, what were the the new wife? What were her motives? Like, okay, you're back. Well, what were her motives? They didn't really explain that. Like, did she no. once the new wife came back? Did, was it secretly, did she want to kill her? Did they just want to obviously get rid of her? But to what extent, knowing that, okay, she's alive, at any point she could go to the police. Yeah, and then another right. thing. Well, so she what, wanted it, her to come back there so they could just kill her. And then, you know, they won't, nobody knows she's back, so they just... Well, the other lady, the, uh, the, the, I was going to call her the plant lady, the crystal yeah, lady crystal knew. Lady, she knew. And apparently she didn't want to save the day. Well, yeah, but I don't know that they knew that the plant lady or the crystal lady knew what the court... She's the one that figured them out, but they didn't know... Well, she found out because of her... Uh, when she dropped her off to the, dinner. No, she found out because where she was in that cabin because she called a car on her, on her phone. phone. Right, right, right. right. Uh, I don't know what, like Uber or whatever. Something, uh-huh. Her account, she used her account. So she knew, So she yeah. got a notice that it was an account, you know, a car picked up, what, and she that's how she found out where she was. Otherwise, she's been dead. By the time she got there, <laughs> if she, you know, if she never found that out. But the strange part about it, like I said, was he, he the one who wanted the wife to go up there. And the reason why she, I mean, the first wife, she finally finds this, um, I guess, evidence that what he had done, which was he took out an insurance policy on her. But she also found he had taken one out on the second wife right, right, right. and the two kids right. for large sums of money, mm-hmm. which, and I still don't understand why. Who's going to kill them too, probably. <laughs> what else I'm saying? Was he going to kill there. his family as well? Because Maybe. He was just coming yeah. out and going to kill everybody. I mean, the kids? I mean, what the kids? The kids ain't doing nothing. Oh, was so, crazy. <laughs> so Lydia went up there to warn the first. She's thinking she's warning right, right, right. the you're wife because right, right. she no, doesn't know, know that the wife yeah, right. is okay, the, okay. you know. A okay. whole, you know, thought crazy. of this whole story in the first place. Crazy. So mm-hmm. she wants to save the wife now. Because and the she, kids. She right, was right. Kind of, I think she was kind of liking her, you know, because like I said, they started to bond, right, talk, yeah. and mm-hmm. whatever. So she said, I got to go let her know what the kind of monster she's actually psychopath. married to. She was a true psychopath. You know, <laughs> that he's going to kill you too, bro. And y'all <laughs> kids. <laughs> and your kids. Right. And she had proof. So she had everything in that envelope. And we don't, like I said, you don't find out to the very, very end. Right, when right. She, she thinks she has him. him. Bed, she right. handcuffs him to the bed and tells him she know everything that you've done. I'm going to tell your wife. I'm going to have her come in. I'm going to tell her everything. So she'll know exactly what kind of fool you really are. And then and he was, he like, was oh, trying to say, she know. you really don't know the whole truth. Right. And she yeah. was like, what you mean I know the whole truth? I do know the whole truth. Oh, you don't know. <laughs> She's trying to tell you don't know. <laughs> and then I guess the wife in the meantime comes upstairs because she's calling him. He's not answering. And she busts in the door, and he's trapped to the you know to the bed. And she, the the new the old wife, trying to think she's doing something. Girl, like down. Guess what? Right. <laughs> look, 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 look what he did. Look, look what, what he, he did. did. Right. And she like, huh. and then she first thought she played it off, baby. She was like, I can't believe you know she right. was trying to act, Luther, act yeah. Still trying to what else? Who did you do end? this? <laughs> Remember she even had her, like, okay, I got to get out of here. Uh, can you help me with the kids? Right. I got to get out of the house. She's like, oh, can you get the baby? Take him downstairs. You right. know, I just, I just had a C-section, girl. I can't do right. all that. Right. <laughs> I got to get the bag. Can you get the diaper bag? The, right, right. Yeah, she was like, go, she go. Can you go put my daughter in the car, please, and buckle her in her yeah, seat? start the car. Or get the car seat, yeah. <laughs> and she's like, I ain't, I ain't 
you drove a car now? How long? I don't know if I can start this car. She go back in the house. I don't know how to start the car. She's telling her, okay, just push the button. Just push the button. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Meanwhile. Right. But so, the, like I said, the wife, she the true psychopath because she, she played her part. She played that part. All the way to the end. I mean, to the, the last Because she was about to leave him there to die. And burn up, burn up. Well, he did up. die. Well, he did die. Because she burned the house down. Right. Up. But she was trying to, you know, she had her to go maybe go back in there. She said she forgot something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then when she went back in there, she knocked, she, she knocked out. And she set the house on fire, assuming that they all burned together. Yeah, everybody burned. And the story there. would be that, you know, whatever he did, that's what happened. She, you know, she came and from that's the bed why and right. was in. Right, Even though right. he was tied to the bed. <laughs> so I'm like, well, if he tied to the bed, how he the one that... No, well, I guess there's that she the one started the fire after, and maybe, I don't know, maybe she failed or something, couldn't get out. Don't know. It was just crazy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it was a crazy, crazy story. And then, <laughs> which was the dumbest part, I mean, I guess for story... Why she take that ugly necklace? She I don't had it around her neck. Souvenir or something right, for right. what had happened. She snatches this crystal off her neck. Right, and and right. since when? Got it? away with since everything. When? If it wasn't for that. That's what I'm saying. Since when? Yeah. Since when you need a souvenir? I'm, you ain't. She's you crazy. Ain't, she's crazy. She's no. Crazy. If you needed a souvenir, you should have told the man to bring me an earbag to prove or something. When you supposedly a shot and dead. If like you really White. needed a souvenir or a trophy. <laughs> I'm just saying. Now all of a sudden you need a souvenir or something. When you ain't tell him bring me a toe or foot or something. I, I guess she, did, so she didn't trust him to do that. Right. She didn't trust. But this you know, was a this was She a, didn't this think that crystal. she I mean, couldn't trust that, him to go but, I mean, it take care of the necklace. But why would she want a little ugly necklace? I have no idea what that was. Uh, that well, just totally. She, but that's like her, you know, yeah. Nah, I, I guess this. that's how people get you know get caught because they do stupid, and that's how what happened. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, why yeah, would you the, even the take the time? Thing that'll catch them up is like, man, like what? Oh, dang! Oh, why did I do that? I could have left that there. Let it burn up in the fire. Yeah, that's the only way she got caught. And if she had right. thought, but she wasn't thinking. She was like, man, it's my suit. I'm taking it. But that was just so. Did you read that book? What a crawl that saying? Did you read that book? <clears throat> what was that? Yeah. Did you read that? Yeah. It reminded yeah. me of that of the part the necklace in that book. I'm not gonna spoil it. But I can't remember. Is that what the I can't I did read okay. yeah, I did read that. But I can't remember it. But yeah, so I'm like they that was dri- totally were they, were they driving somewhere in the car? No, no, no. no. But, but that, that was totally that. out of character for her for me. Because like I said, she, if she's so high class, she got a black car, she's buying three hundred dollar boots and and eight, whatever. Well, she didn't want it to wear it. She just but I'm just saying, no, but why? That don't, don't make know. no sense. Why not just take a lock of hair? <laughs> like, why would you just... Why she want a hair, though? I'm just, but still, but a necklace, that's what I'm saying, that's going to get you caught. But she if didn't you think so smart, it that way. But how could you not know you the mastermind? You didn't, play, you didn't play the long game and then, <laughs> um, short seconds, two seconds, you snatch a necklace after you didn't well, play the long like, game. Because because how she they thought, take people's panties right. or whatever. I mean, Dang. she just decided she wants... Crazy. Want this necklace she because the only thing she sees. The okay, last minute she's like, out. "I'm gonna take give me this right. necklace too." And if the thought <laughs> and so I guess every time she looked at this necklace, necklace, it probably remind her. Yeah, I told y'all I was gonna be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that just that but, just yeah, because that's how people get caught. They do something stupid. They do something don't make any sense at all. And like, she did. But that? that's what I'm saying. Why would you burn the place down, knowing you burning evidence? Why would you take evidence? Like, like, you're supposed yeah. to be okay, so it. think about it. Just Why would you take it? But, but, she, but think I, about what know, he did. Who would know that she that necklace belonged to her? <laughs> but that's my the, point the exactly. Crystal the crystal lady, the crystal and the lady would belong to. So she, she assumed, assumed that she But assumed that's that. my but, point exactly. The, 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 she know the girl didn't hide nothing, so somebody had to give her that necklace because yeah, she didn't have she it had, before. She but, didn't think anybody would know. Obviously, somebody gave it to her. She didn't have it. If she didn't survive. With what money? Yeah, but she don't know she it. got yeah. money. She was buying her clothes and boots and she yeah, clothes and see, stuff. Yeah, she didn't have no money. <laughs> if she hadn't survived, she would have never known because they would assume that whatever she had on her burnt up with her in that fire. Right. My point exactly. You burn the cabin down to burn the evidence and burn the bodies. Why would you take something off the she, body? She, she, she didn't she think no, the woman was gonna know. survive. Right. She, she thought she, didn't she, think she was gonna dead. survive. And, and that's she didn't the think only anybody way. would know about that that right. necklace. She wouldn't. Think, she didn't think anybody could be able was gonna identify that necklace. Now, the only person that could would be the lady who, I mean, the lady herself wouldn't even thought about it because she would have never saw it. Right. She actually she would have never known that she her. had it. But exactly. the lady she who never saw she took it off, off would have. Like, ask her where she got that necklace from. You know? <laughs> Right, so nobody right. knew because she survived right. that she knew that's you know that's my necklace. And speaking of crazy, like her husband, why would he carve his name on her? Why not just 
just carve they just that just or something right. stupid. <laughs> Why would you literally carve your name on right, her that's body? Evidence that's evidence that right do, there. I've been doing this. A stranger wouldn't do that. <laughs> Why would they pick his name? He has a, that's what I'm saying. His name is not a common that's what name. Said. They're like, well, wait a minute. If it was Sam or said. something like that, it's like, why yeah, it's a Sam. Bob or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a hundred Sam. Well, not, why not carve her name or something? So, that's what I'm saying. Why would you carve your name? And, that's and what I'm saying. <laughs> so then she said, you know, my husband's name is Luca. And that's who he carved that on. Right. Instead of my husband's and name is Bob. What's a hundred Bobs? That's because it's, you know, but. But like you said, if you say, but like I said, there was stuff in the story that I'm like, okay, I know it was to move the story along, but it just didn't, it just didn't make that sense. Like, why would you do that? that? Like, why, do that? why right, why would know. you do that? Like, so, I don't know, but I, but <laughs> it was a good story. Like I said, it was that twist, that one twist at the end that made it all right. worth it. it. A, that was more than a twist. That was kind of like, like a went like down a, the block, it was like, went down the expressway, then came all the way back around the long <laughs> way to like boom, came up like on the ramp, what? and then had to make a U turn. That's what I'm saying. It was like the complicated way to get to the light and then turn, make a left. So you didn't see that coming. You just, I mean, no inkling. The whole story, you do not see that coming. No inkling. So she not, played that part. She played. I it. mean, to the hilt from so, start yeah. to finish. So said she wrote that well because she the did. wife until was she hit it on the back of her head. I mean, basically, you like, thought that on? she was the was a victim. <laughs> One of them, right? Right. <laughs> that you know, her husband was gonna kill her, right? Kill the kids. So when I know. saw the insurance policy, I'm like, oh my god, he's gonna kill the kids too. Oh my goodness. Right, but I think so. <laughs> then she did ask Lucas. She said, "Why is she still alive?" And then that's when you knew. Oh, wait a minute. So then when she came up and she was going to do all that, you knew she was going to do that because she had already asked Luca, why is she not dead? And that's what I was like, oh, wait. No, she could She knows something. Some, she, right, she, something she, else is going on. But like you said, just her reactions and how she, but yeah, you're right. She was like, hmm, like, wait. Yeah. And then like I said, when he, when he found the insurance policy, and I was feeling sorry for him, like, he gonna kill her now and the kids. And the kids. <laughs> but Luca was lying. Remember when at the restaurant she didn't he didn't tell her she got a job at the restaurant. And when she came and saw her there, she didn't even come in. She went and played it off. Still didn't tell her but husband she that she like, knew. What's she doing here? Mm. Right. Well, and then she out what's going right on. didn't tell her husband yeah. that she knew that she was at the restaurant. Mm-hmm. It was a whole bunch of lies and deceit and cover ups and yeah, and. Lying about and um, mm-hmm. So it was yeah it was a lot of it was. It was a good twist. It was a very it was good, a good twist. Yeah, it, it was, was a good one twist. of those things like you could not put down. When I got to the middle, I just couldn't. I just kept reading. I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> I feel like this was one of those. Um, it wasn't even a scary movie, but like one of those movies, like a Halloween movie, where you go and you watching on the screen. You talking to them like, "Why would you do that?" You know, you know, like when you watching the movie, like we watch horror movies and black people talking during the movies. Mm-hmm. Be like, "Why would you do that?" You see, why are you going in the room? Come back, Becky Lee. Like, don't go in there. That is, that is <laughs> suspense yeah. as opposed to horror. Well, that's what I was thinking. It's, like, it's don't go out to the cabin right. with him. Girl, they going to do something to you. Right. It's like, right. you I saw that know. other lady. <laughs> right, right. Stay at home. Tell him, no, I'm not going to care. Right. But, like, you just saw the one lady. <laughs> why, why would you go to the same woods? Like, don't do it. I don't know. Right. 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 Because that, that, like, that's, <laughs> that's the suspense because suspense means I know what's going to happen. <laughs> and, and, and I don't mean to get that, but... Alfred Hitchcock once said that the difference between horror and suspense is if you're watching a movie and a bomb goes off and, it's, and you're scared because that's horror. But if you take the same scenario, you put the bomb in the room and the audience knows the bomb is in the room, then now you know the bomb's going to go off and you're sitting there like this. Wait. Don't, don't go there. No, no, leave, leave. No, 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 because now you know what's going to happen. That's what suspense is. You knew that be, uh, crazy was it and was going to go up there and do something, but... You couldn't say, come on, come on, get out of here, don't do that to the soul. So, yeah. Was. And that's why I said, like, the way she narrated, like, <laughs> us as the reader, because you heard me keep saying, us as the reader, we don't know this yet. Us as the reader don't know what we know until we know it. Right. But, like you said, it's like, okay, getting those two point of views, which I thought was interesting that she only chose to stay with those two point of views, even though she introduced it wasn't a whole lot of cast of characters, which I also like. Right. It was a, it was it was like a confined right. cast of characters. Right. It was these people, but she only decided, she didn't even do the husbands, which I thought was interesting. She didn't do his point of view. She let yeah, the two just, wives... Yeah. Tell tell his story, tell his exactly. point of view. Kind of, so I thought that was interesting. Against each other. I mean, you got one wife who, you know, that's what I thought that was way, interesting. Way, way ago, and the new wife who's here. So it's like those the two, you know. 
Right. They did talk to him. Bumping his heads point of view. He didn't, you know, they didn't have him think, well, man, I should have, or, man, maybe I should have killed some more people. Or I'm crazy. And I right. They didn't even do it. But, and, we, and, and, and I can see why. It's because like, he, what would these two women do? He yeah. wasn't the one that <laughs> was really, I mean, he, he did just, the horrible just, thing, <clears throat> but he wasn't the mastermind, so to speak. Right. So I can see why. But at, when I was reading, I was like, oh, she's only sticking with these two narrators. Right. And one narrator we thought was reliable. We thought that the wife, the current wife, was right. the one we were rooting for, like, and we come to find out. So I thought that was, like you said, that was suspense because we think we know this character. We mm-hmm. think, oh, she the wife, well, she pregnant. Like she told us, yeah, right. That's what right. said. This unreliable narrator. Come to find <laughs> out, she the psychopath. Right. So and telling was, us she was what she want us to hear. Right. She was controlling and she was helping him to channel um, those the evil, the evilness. Right. <laughs> so she decided he'll channel it. For the good of our family. Right, because so we're going to have a good life, but he needs to channel But she ain't evilness. even like him. Right, she, so she, she wanted him, I want to have a good marriage, but I, and he seems pliable enough for me, but he needs to control can live those, with those evils. She, she wanted with it, to basically. put up appearances, so she, appearances, outward appearances. She wanted, <laughs> like she said, what her mom didn't, didn't have, have, and right, she wanted, right. even though she, it was all built on a lie. Say, even the people they knew thought they had this great one. Right, right. Like it was all built on a lie. They right. had these businesses, it these restaurants. That they were just happy, right. you know, they had she this had great life. They had money, they had kids. Again, yeah. yeah. Right, they thought she was the perfect little wife, and you know. Like the perfect couple. Thing. Right, and that's what or she wanted. She, she wanted, wanted, like, but it was all built on a lie. Right. She was yeah. trying so to keep up. She and she would have. She got it, that's how she wanted. Right, <laughs> until Lydia came back was like, like oh, no. Like, everything. Just came and, like, so then that's monkey wrench in my whole plan. Get her out of here. Just go, Just go back where up. you came from. Back to the woods. And then, plus, <laughs> if, if Lydia had gone to the police at this, after this point, if it really had been Lydia and she had gone to the police and told on her husband and they believe it, this is going to blow up her happy home. This is going to mess up what she's worked for because now everybody's going to look at your house is crazy. So she didn't want that to happen. She wanted her perfect life to still and She wanted to stay in her bubble. For, right. And so this girl is messing us. We need to get rid of her, give her some money, do something. I'm going to try and befriend her because now we know who she is. We don't want her to go to the police. Right. Because right. it's going to mess up what we got going on here. So. But Lydia wasn't. But Lydia, Lydia did said, bring a point up. She said, if I went to the police, they would not believe that's me. That's right. She because said. I've been declared dead. They're like, who? Right. And it like when she did finally to go to the police, who. they told, remember they told her how long it would take. They got to do a DNA test because she don't have no next who to you kid. are. Right. Because right. she didn't we have can, no next. They can't prove who you are until we know that you. You know. Right. Right. So I get it. It could take it, weeks, but. months, or whatever. She said, well, by then he'd been a skip town or whatever. Mm-hmm. Y'all wouldn't be in the kitchen. But right. she didn't want that. She said that you know she wanted the life she was robbed of. Like she didn't get a chance to have this life because she married a crazy man. And she married. wanted the life that she could have had that she was robbed of, that right. she was started. That's why she was uh, 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 black man. Right, her right. So she can get her apartment, you know, get her own life going. Well, so I don't know. The life she was trying to build was going to be with him because their plans was to open up a restaurant. Same yeah, thing. Right, right. And all that, that was their plan. Now she can so do about herself. That life wasn't going to happen. Else. Not even when she came back. That was not going to happen. <laughs> it was going to take her time like she said by exploiting him and getting that money she was going to save up and you know start no rebuild, get a fake ID a fake identity whatever she was trying to get and you know be somebody else and start her own life well, she didn't over. want that remember when he said he was going to do that she said no I want my own identity back I don't want somebody else I thought else. she was getting fake documents no something. he was saying that he could do that for her oh okay that he was going to get her some fake ID and stuff so she can move on that's get right, out of their life was but she was saying no I want my own life back mm-hmm. I do well, not yeah, want somebody saying, else's I think identity he had all that, all that he stuff did. for her that's what he was getting yeah. together mm-hmm. yeah okay. Mm-hmm. But that's not what she wanted. She wanted to okay. be Lydia. She wanted to be Lydia. She did not want to be, you know, Mary Sue from Rare. Right. Okay, right. <laughs> Kalamazoo. Oh, right. right. But, so in the end, you know, Mary gets caught. Of course, the first wife, well, the current wife gets caught because she took that stupid necklace. Yeah. And Lydia survived. <sighs> and, and now her key is in foster the care, care or wherever. They don't Because she's exactly crazy. Where. They are. But the husband bad. dead because she didn't burn him up. Right. Mm-hmm. Just, and I don't know what happened to Lydia. I can't remember what it said happened to Lydia. They didn't really say. She, she, she survived, but I don't that's know what all, happened that's, to her. That's all, but that's where they leave it off. They yeah, really they don't, don't say what just, happened. And she yeah. got her revenge, apparently, <laughs> I guess. Her, yeah. And I don't know they if just tell you what happened at the end. She just said she felt sorry for the kids because right, 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 she said right. Merrick said whatever she did, she did for the kids. But now 
the kids are, you know, without and, their mom right. and their dad now. And their dad, right, right. right. So, so I don't know. So, but yes, it was a, it was definitely a thriller. It was definitely it suspenseful. Was a thriller. I love this um, book. It was good. It was very good. It was like good I said, but, it, uh, um, <clears throat> it was good. There was some stuff that was questionable of what was going, on. but for the most part, I thought. Yeah, it was yeah, good. yeah. Leading up to, but yeah, it was. I thought, like she said, it wasn't. There were no loose ends. No, she tied everything well, up very nicely. Yeah, there were no good. loose ends. And I think she took everything it was explained. Through. Who who the monster was? <laughs> everything was explained about the motive, about why, how you know it was explained. It was you tied didn't get up. lost in as right. she was telling the story. You kind of you was able to follow that very yeah. easily mm-hmm. all the way through the, the, to the, the very end. Good twist that, at the end was right. Was yes, that was like was the biggest good. shocker of right. all. Yeah, it was good. Yes, so the unmissing by. I'm, I'm not, Mika, is that how you say her Mika. name? Mika, Mika Kent. Kent. Um, very interesting book. Definitely worth the read. It's a very yes, it quick is. book. The book is not long at all. It's a very quick read. Um, you know, I, it, if I had time, I probably could have read it in a day. Because it was just, you know, Miss Andrea is the fastest it's reader of them all. It's interesting that so. you wanted to keep reading. You but didn't yeah, want to put so, it so down. If I, if I had a whole <laughs> day just to sit there and read, I, I would have would definitely finished in a day. Because I was... Up at night, I think I was off for like those three days or whatever. I took the book home with me, and I was up to one o'clock, and I was like, "I'm tired, trying to read it," because it was just like I can't put it down. I can't put it down. You just want to find out what's happening. Right, exactly, Ooh, exactly. <laughs> and then I was trying to find it on audio. I'm like, "Is it on audio book?" Like trying to, you know, see if I can read it and speed it up on audio to get to the end. But it's definitely worth to read. I would recommend it. It's it's a very short book, and um, it's worth to read for me. I thought it was very good. I thought. Uh, like you said, it flowed well. It was a very quick read, um, and the twist at the end was very good. That was very good. I thought the, the first twist was the fact that he did it, and then you think, okay, this is what's going. But then you got another twist right. at the end. It's like, oh no, she's the one. Like, so oh, yeah. My God. <laughs> so yeah, I thought it was very good. I thought it was a great book. I mean, when I first read like the summary to see what it was, it I didn't expect it to be what it was. I assumed it was just about, you know, a wife that's went missing and she just came back and it was just going to be this pleasant story. I didn't expect it to go have that turn that it, you know, went around the block three times before you got to the yeah. <laughs> I, did, I did not expect that, but it, it was a good book. It was well, very well written, I would say. It's good. So, um, if you're interested in Unmissing by Mika Kent, please come check us out at the Broadview Public Library. Um... Next month, we will be reading Mrs. Wiggins by Mary Monroe, and this is Miss Andrea's pick, so we're all excited. Um, yeah, and we hope you join us again, and uh, thanks for listening. Bye. <laughs>